Hey man, it's Brain and uh, I'm ready to go on tour here with uh, DNR. We're ready to rock the world. So, uh, you know, I, first, I got into the drums because, uh, you know, my mom actually took me to the mall and I saw Buddy Rich absolutely shredding the drums to pieces. And I thought, man, you know, I knew right away that's what I wanted to do. So you know when I got into drums I was in high school and I, uh, I was pretty much like a either was going to pick the drums or skateboarding and then I you know went to the park one day and I broke my foot skating and I thought oh man you know maybe I'll just practice the snare drum so I, I bought uh, Anthony Cerrone's Portraits and Rhythm. I just practice like all day, every day, and I just like go around school and say, hey man, you play, you know, what are, you play guitar, I heard you play guitar, I heard you play bass, and we just gather these guys together, and once my foot healed, you know, I just started jamming with them. It was weird, because when I first started playing with them, I had just only practiced on a snare drum for like six months that I, we were playing ACDC and I could barely keep a two and four beat. It was just like, do, ga, do, ga, do, ga, do, do, ga. And everybody's just looking at me like, dude, man, that's ACDC. Come on, man, keep the beat, man. Like, what the hell's wrong with you? So I just sit there and put AC back in black on all day and just like play to it and stuff. So, you know, after I figured out, you know, how to play ACDC and play in time, I was, uh, you know, just playing around town and, um, there was this band called Primus and this bass player, Les Claypool. He goes, oh man, hey dude, I play bass, you know, come and play with me. So I was just like, oh, okay, yeah, I'll check it out. You know, and he called it Primus. And uh, so I started jamming with him. And then um, at that point, I was still skateboarding and he booked a show at the Berkeley Square. And um, we, uh, I think something happened where I was like in a competition skateboarding and I couldn't play the show. So he got Tim, Alexander to play the show and he he actually took over the gig and I went on to this other band called the Limbo Maniacs which was just friends of mine from high school and we started that and then Tim decided to leave at one point and I think it was in like 99 oh wait no 97 or 98 and so they asked me to rejoin but I was actually in Primus before Tim and then I went back in and then you know just did the Primus thing for like five years <laughs> Before I was in Primus, I was noodling around this like um, world beat scene, and it was like Afro beat and you know Zulu jive and, and that kind of rhythms. We, they would put influence it with rock. And um, one of the guitar players was the editor of uh, Guitar Player Magazine, and he turned me on to this cat Buckethead. And he said, oh, Brain, dude, you'd be, you know, you and Bucket should get together, man, because you guys are both gone, you know, like, you know, just we talk about weird stuff. And Bucket was into real weird horror movies and all this crazy stuff. So he introduced me to him and we became good friends. And he ended up playing with us on the OzFest, came on tour and would sit in like on three songs. And then um, from there, we were like playing and stuff. We, we, I think we were touring Australia and and Bucket had called me and said, uh, hey, uh, you know, I'm auditioning for, you know, Guns N' Roses, and I think their drummer just quit. You know, do you want to come and check it out? And I thought, wow, that's pretty weird. I never really, like, would play Guns N' Roses or be in, really was into the band, but I'd heard about them, of course, and, and knew about them because they're, like, the biggest band in the world at one point. And um, I thought, oh, I'll check it out. You know, I heard that Axel guy is a total freaky, crazy, you know, just rips on stage and all this crazy stuff. I thought it'd be a kind of a cool thing to try out. So he actually got me in the Guns N' Roses gig.
Yeah, I'm, uh, my drum DVD. You know, I, a lot of people come up to me and say, "Man, I really like that DVD. It's like it's not like the other ones." And I and you know, I remember like like my favorite drummers at one point were like Dave Weckl. I really got into fusion and that whole. I was always into Chick Corea because of Steve Gadd and uh, um, and. You know, I, I started buying these drum instructional videos and I'd be watching them and I would think like, wow, you know, like, wow, he's ripping, but man, it's, this is boring. You know, I'd find myself fast forwarding through them, just going like, oh, you know, this is just, I wish something would happen. And I was, you know, I come from a skateboard background and, and skating and all my friends were making these like kind of avant-garde before, you know, um, you know, just kind of like right when the uh, handheld, you know, uh, VHS tape came out and I thought I'll just buy I'll buy, buy a VHS you know pl uh, handheld and just make my own and make it kind of skateboard make it kind of just like loose and kind of just like you know fooling around and having fun and so you know I basically made the whole thing by myself with or just with a friend you know we just would sit there and fool around and then we cut it together one day you know we did it all by ourselves and we just basically you know, I showed it to Warner Brothers and they were like, well, uh, that's not really like a Dave Weckl video or a Steve Gadd video. I'm like, exactly. That's why I did it. And so they're like, oh, OK, I get it. And they put it out. And, you know, since then, I've been getting a lot of, you know, good response for it. And I'm going to be making another one for uh, DW this year. So look out for that psychotomy. I started using Vic for sticks the first day I got I, when I broke my foot and I picked up Portraits and Rhythm and, and I just fell in love you know with Vic for the sticks because they were just, they felt like they were professional or something like you know if, if you're gonna get the best this is the best I don't know why I just I get a feeling about weird stuff like that you know oh. ever since then I was sold and then you know um, now I'm using the 55 A's which I love because I they're a cross between the five A's and the five B's. And I was always like, in it always felt like I was in between. And when they came out with that, I was like, this is my baby. So I've been using them on the GNR gig and they're, they're killing. So come and check out the show and I'll throw you one. So yeah, you know, so I'm getting ready to go on tour. And, uh, you know, I hope all you fans out there of Guns N' Roses, Primus, or whatever, Brain fans, there's about six of them, I think, you know, come and check out the show. You know, we start here in New York, and then we're headed over to Europe doing all the big festivals. I think we're doing some shows with Metallica, uh, the Stones, and, you know, uh, all the freaks out there. So, you know, come and check out the show, and uh, love you guys.